again in 02 so it's been and before that we didn't we weren't together for five years so let's do some math here 02 minus that's five math. <laughs> negative <laughs> so nine years plus five at least and our last show ever I'll tell you that this is the last time we played New Year's Eve was the oh, last yeah, show yeah. ever was 97 with Matchbox 20 and the Wallflowers in Houston, Houston. the last minute gig we had already like we were broken up like done and then we got this offer we couldn't refuse. It was us, Matchbox, Wallflowers. We had to have separate tour buses. Yeah, separate golf carts for backstage. <laughs> Jack, I always wanted this like, you know, Peterbilt golf cart. It looked like a little truck. It's just such a... Anyway, uh, that's why we broke up. Is it a little, is it a little dorky? So maybe not, not the... How about the... Just a little more, something a little more manly? Yeah. And we, I think we started playing together again and uh, we were kind of wondering, what are we doing, or should we keep playing? Or, you know, what what are we doing? You know, because generally when you're a band, you're you're growing, you're trying to grow your fan base, you're trying to build, you're just trying to play more cities and do more, 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 more. And we're like, how do we do less, less, and less, and less? You know, play <laughs> less, but you know, have impact and, and touch people that want to hear our music. And um, I think that was just something that we've really come together on. Like, man, this is this is a gift we have. You know, we've gift and people want to hear it and people want to be a part of it, and uh, we need to keep doing it. Didn't know pretty till I saw you Didn't know lost till I lost you Back on track, swear to be true I didn't know lost till I lost you I like an old married couple. <laughs> hey, let me tell the story and then the, 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 old, the lady now chimes so, in. Yes. Hey, go ahead and tell the story, tell the story. Right. Anyway, so, so it's going to be great. Now we've been working, actually, I'm, I'm really amazed, I'm really impressed with the work we've done and the way we've done it because we've kind of found time to get together through the past, I don't know, four or five months in you know, various places, Nashville, Atlanta, Bethesda, Maryland, um, I guess Dallas, and we've kind of been able to work together. Dude, yeah, I'm fired up. To me it's a lot more One Republic, Bruno Mars, Coldplay-ish than, you know, anything else we've ever done. You know, it's not just couple of guys on acoustic guitars it's it's a it's a big record but there's also acoustic -y sounds and you know bluegrassy sounds on there and from what I'm hearing where we're at right now I think is some of the best stuff we've ever done so I feel really good about it I feel really excited about it and it's it's um, I don't know it's it's been a great a great process and I'm just really happy to be back back in that kind of creative process it's been it's been a while yeah. You know, Carrie, I'd say first and foremost, our relationship is brotherhood. You know, we're like brothers. We've had our moments where we didn't agree. We've had our moments where we totally agree. But um, at this stage, you know, after 20 plus years of friendship and working together, you know, I, I, you know, I love him. I love him like a brother, and uh, I trust him. And I think, you know, he keeps me, keeps me grounded in the creative world. <laughs> 